Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, I am bringing you a throwback build. Now, if you play 2K20, you will know that 2K20 was dominated by two-way slashing playmakers. This build was absolutely unplayable. If the player was good, you would not be able to defeat it, literally. It was just too good. And it got to the point where it was so good, it had to get nerfed. Now, two years later, we move on to 2K22 when the shooting system is very similar to 2k20 and we can make builds which shouldn't really be able to shoot well can shoot consistent greens now before we get into this video make sure you drop a like subscribe if you're new to my channel check out my last video for the five best jump shots on nba 2k22 so you don't miss and without further ado let's get into the video so position we're gonna go with the shooting guard now when i was making this build for myself at the start i made this as a small forward you can make this as a small forward but then you will lose a lot of speed your ball handle won't be as high and it's just literally your badges aren't as good so it's not worth it go for a shooting guard i primarily intended this to be a small forward but it is what it is we're gonna be a shooting guard handed it doesn't matter put it right handed and let's put it as number 23 now there's a few pie charts you can use i would say use the shooting not shooting finishing and playmaking badge so you get a hall of fame playmaking and hall of fame finishing this is the chart we're going to use but you can also use let me see where it is you can also use this one i believe this pie chart will also give you a two-way slashing playmaker um you know name build and it will still be a good build you just don't get hall of fame uh Finishing at that point, just rather defending, which I guess could be a good thing. But I would rather get Hall of Fame finishing and playmaking. So that's just me, but there's also a way to make it with this build if you tweak it. You know, tweak a few uh, statistics. So we're going to go with the finishing and the playmaking. Now, the physical profiles, there's really only one to go for this 2K because this is literally just the best one. It's clear of everything else. The balanced one is just not it this one is just not it like just they're just really not that good they're not that good you need speed and we're gonna go with the speed this build is faster than literally any play shot and it's insane you're gonna see the stats at the end but this build is insane when you get it maxed it's just wow it is something i'm getting a max right now and it is something already like trust me close shot we're gonna go with 89 you're gonna want to copy everything i do here you can tweak these up a little bit if uh, you really want to but I would say just keep it as it you know just look at what I do and then keep it as it is so we're gonna go with 17 finishing this is really more than enough like 17 finishing on this game is a lot you all you really need is what posterizer takeoff slivery finisher and potentially fearless finisher apart from that no other badges really are that amazing so 17 is you know all you need shooting you're just gonna want to max pretty much everything apart from your post fade you're gonna want to put it down to 72 so we just get that 12 shooting badges you can shoot consistently on this game easy to shoot on this game and 12 shooting badges is all you need i'm going to show you which ones are best and that's that playmaking we're also going to want to max it out but put this to 53 there we go so we get 23 playmaking that's a lot of playmaking and um yeah like really on this game I guess having a lot of badges is good for shooting because you can just max out pretty much every good shooting badge, you know, to help you out and playmaking as well. But it's not needed, you know, it helps, but it's not needed. For defending, we're going to leave interior defense, we don't need it. Max out perimeter, max out lateral, max out the steel. And we want to go down and put everything on defensive rebound. So, our final project here we will get 17 finishing 12 shooting 23 playmaking and six defending now like i said you can change up these if, you know if you want you know maybe you want to get less defending potentially and get more you know maybe you want to get a bit more finishing shooting you can't get any more shooting or playmaking but i would say keep it as this this is just way more than you need to be good at this game you know if you're a good player especially like me you're not that guy pal trust me you're not that guy so um yeah i would say go with this now body type a lot of people go with the compact body type because they say they don't get bumps as much and they can just you know be a, a bit more slivery but the thing is you're going to be six foot five so it just doesn't really make a difference i went with defined you know just defined just 
you know, it just looks good. You know, you don't want to be built because built, I feel like it's just, you're just big, big. I feel like defined is a good one, especially we're going to go with um, the least weight. So it's going to make it look the best. Like I said, we're going to go with 6.5, but you can go down to 6.4. This build will get all, not all of fame, contact dunks like your pro contact. This, if you go 6.4, actually, now that I've reminded myself, if you go 6.4, you can get small man contact dunks. Now, would I go for it now that I know this? Possibly. My build is six foot five. I didn't know that you needed to be six foot five. Like you need to be under six foot five basically for small man contact dunks. So if you know you still get pro contact dunks at six foot five, which I do, but you're doing your small man contact dunks. So six foot four would be good if you want to, and it increases your speed. So that is a shout. But I went with six foot five. But like I said, you can go six foot four for the small man contact dunks because you will get you know 85 driving dunk off the rip but like i said we'll go with six foot five weight there's only one real way to go and it's just least i guess you can tweak this a little bit if you really want to like 177 so your strength doesn't go up with acceleration let's put it at least waste at least effort wingspan you're going to want to max it really like i said look you can see that we get 86 driving dunk when we max it and our 65 free ball, 86 ball handle. So we get everything we need to speed boost. We get, we don't get one size of package, which is the Rose, which is apparently the best one. It's good, but you can get good alternatives. Zach Levine is an example, is a great alternative. So it doesn't really make that big of a difference, but you can go six foot four if you want to get that D Rose size of package and you want to get small man contact dunks. So we're going to go with that. Takeover, you can go for what you want. In my opinion, or from my experience anyway, playmaking just takes too long to get. I don't like having play, playmaking take over, it takes too long. We're gonna go with slashing. And our final build, we have made a two-way slashing playmaker. This build is something different. It's A lot of people have been making two-way playmakers, you know, with a pure playmaking chart, but I would go for this build instead, because this build is just insane. It's cracked. I'm gonna show you the badge layout before we finish this video off. And um, yeah, so Hall of Fame posterizer. Hall of Fame, Limitless Takeoff. Like I said, these two are literally the main ones. I guess you can put Lob City Finisher on that, Fearless Finisher, and you can put on Slippery Finisher on God. This is what I would go for. I haven't got all my badges yet, but this is the setup I will go for. Shooting, 12 shooting might seem like it's not a lot, but it's really all you need. Two main badges until they get patched. Sniper is just insane. You need to get down gold ASAP or the highest one you can get because it's broken. It's, it's gonna get patched soon, but just get it if you haven't already. Gold stop and pop, you need that to dribble well and shoot off the dribble. So that's that. I would say green machine on bronze so that it just activates. Limitless spot up doesn't work. It really doesn't work. Unless it works from like 30 feet out, which realistically is just a halfway line. So it, it, you don't need it, you don't need it, uh, which is the thing. And uh, I would say go for gold blinders and silver hot zone hunter. Now, I guess if you really wanted to, you could go for silver blinders and then green machine on silver. But the thing is, blinders is also very good. It's one of the best shooting badges, so you want to go with blinders. Playmaking, you get a lot of playmaking. So this is what I will go for when I have all of mine unlocked. So you want to go for these. You get ripped too easy on this game, so Hall of Fame Unplockable, you might as well just get that. And um, quick chain, best badge. Bailout, blue hands, a bullet pass up. I feel like bronze badges on this game are very overpowered because as long as they activate, you will get a big boost of that badge. So it doesn't really make a difference if you know it's on bronze or on silver or sometimes even on gold. So you know you want to just put them on so that they activate. So bailout, you know, your player will just at least have bailout and he's not just gonna throw it outside of the whole you know cruise ship. You wanna have that and uh, glue hands so you can just catch you know easy things that people bail out. Defending, this is all down to preference, but this is what I have unlocked. I have Silver Intimidator, um, where is it? Silver Clamps, Bronze Chase Down, uh, Bronze Pickpocket, and Bronze, where is it? Oh no, that's it, that's it. <clears throat> I thought I had another badge. Uh, yeah, this is what I want to go for, because, um, yeah, chase down, like I said, those bronze badges, you get so many chase downs. Even, I know I'm 6 for 5, but even guards with like 37 block, you will get so many chase downs. So you want to put that on. Pickpock is so easy to get rips on this game. 
Intimidator and Clamps apparently don't work on this game, but I feel like that's just a placebo effect because someone said it. I feel like they work fine. I guess you could realistically what I was looking for. Um, if you didn't want that, you could put on uh, Bronze Intimidator and Bronze Pig Dodger. But do you really need it? I don't think so. I would go for this badge layout and that's that. So all together you get, what is this? 17 and 23, 40, 52, 58 badges on this build. Yeah. Guys, try this build out, see how you like it, and leave your builds down below. Do you want to see any specific build types? You know, do you want to see some specific players? Because I will be happy to make those, you know, and then upgrade them, max them out, and see, you know, make some content for you guys. But apart from that, I've got nothing else to say. Hope you enjoyed the video. Smash like. I'll see you in the next one.